So if you made it to this video, that means that you're interested in the, the thing I mentioned in the other video, or you're just a random person that just stumbled across this video and, and is wondering why a random British guy is just talking to you in the middle of a conservatory into a camera looking like a madman. Essentially, this video is for those who want to know what airsoft is and what I use on an airsoft game. Um, so just a quick sort of summarization of what airsoft is, you get up in some decent army style get you up and then you get a gun and that's not real and fires six mil bbs commonly known as a bb gun but it's actually an airsoft rifle or pistol it's just what it is um and you fire small six mil bbs around at each other for fun and then that's that's essentially an airsoft game uh game will last about 45 minutes to an hour and obviously there's like separate game modes and stuff capture the flag sometimes it's just a standard deathmatch stuff like that and that's basically it so I'm going to get into the items that we use in terms of weaponry. I want to get into clothing and stuff, but I'm not happy with what we've got so far. There's more stuff on the way, so I figure I'd wait till that comes. And then I'll do a full sort of guide of a, an airsoft um, beginner's guide from a beginner. Since we've, been, we've done about three games now, coming into our fourth race soon. Um, and I plan on trying to record some of that. Uh, there'll be some gameplay coming on. Uh, in the background of a previous game that we did where we managed to get the GoPro on. We camoed up the case and everything uh, for the GoPro, it looks really cool. So we'll be doing the other one with that same camo and then uh, that'll obviously be it. So I'm going to get into two different loadouts here. We've got my loadout, which is a sniper loadout, and we've got my dad's loadout, which is an assault rifle, um, sort of modern loadout, so to speak. Mine's a bit more old school, whereas my dad's is more up to date. So we'll start with mine and then we'll move on to my dad's and uh, we'll take it from there. So uh, if you hadn't already guessed, this is mine. You can probably tell from the big big logo that's on it. I decided to brand it because why not? Um, so this is my loadout and they're both in different boxes which I'll show in a sec but this is mine. Um, so when you lift the lid, this is what you are presented with. So this is my sniper rifle and this is my pistol. And that, that's that's all that's all there is to it really in terms of the loadout. You just need a decent sidearm and a decent primary weapon and then that's it. Uh, the rest of it is more in, in terms of what gear you wear um, and how you of course use it. Um, so we'll start off with my rifle here. So this is the sniper rifle that I use. It's a L96 Warrior 3 MB01 made by uh, Well and it's totally stock, literally how you get it out of the box. Um, other than the spray job, obviously you can probably tell it was two tone, which essentially means um, that it was a bright colour of say orange, blue or green usually tends to be the colours that they use. In this case it was a green, so we just had to spray it. Um, we ended up getting our Yukara license, which uh, in the UK allows you to own a black gun, which is a realistic imitation firearm, uh, RIF for sure. Um, the paint's not to come away obviously because it was Krylon, but it, it just seems to wear off. We're probably going to respray it or I'm going to put some camel tape on, I'm, I'm not quite sure yet. Um, but yeah, it's a very, very, very good gun. Um, it's been firing really well. Plus bolt action, so you have to cock that back up along and then fire it. Um, and it sounds pretty powerful. On the back here we've got a bus stock pouch which allows you to open up and get a mag out, faster reloads really, a bit more accessible. Um, got a sling on here, two point sling made out of a paracord and a 39 times 40 uh, scope here with these flip up sights, it's really cool. Very good scope, really cheap off Amazon, about 23 quid I think it was. Um, but yeah, really, really good uh, gun. The mags just goes into the bottom here which allows you to just your hop up. Uh, the hop up is uh, sort of a nub that comes down your barrel which allows you to have backspin on your BB when it comes out of the, the barrel. Um, helps with accuracy, get to travel a bit, bit further and obviously that depends on the weight of your BBs as well. Uh, for those who are sort of in the know I use 0.3 BBs. Um, I'll probably do a future video sort of with more technical terms and explain what they mean but for now it's sort of just a quick rundown of what we use and sort of an introduction to the channel of of, uh, of all the stuff that we've got um, and of course bipod here as well which does come in really handy i thought i was going to use it but um i actually do use it quite a lot and obviously it's meant to wobble allows to sort of maneuver the rifle a bit someone on the field thought it was going to fall off it's, it's not going to fall off <laughs> but yeah um other than that though that's it full work and safety here as well um but that's that's the rifle really really good rifle um I really like it at least and hopefully 
get a lot of go good gameplay with this. Um, I intend on probably upgrading it at some point if something breaks. Um, as it again, it is stock, so a lot of the parts that I used on it are just plastic parts. Um, but it's pretty pretty hard wearing and stuff. I think it'll uh, it'll serve as well for now. Right, so this is my pistol. It is a 1911. Uh, obviously a Colt 1911 made by KWC and it is CO2 powered and that essentially means that you have to put a small CO2 cartridge inside here, nip it up at the bottom and away you go, that's your uh, propellant essentially. Uh, my other gun is of course spring, uh, whereas this uses gas or in this case CO2. You can get green gas ones as well where you essentially put uh, a big sort of canister of gas and you Spirit push it down on the uh, on the bottom of the mag and that fills it up. But CO2 gets you more shots, more powerful, a lot more reliable in my opinion. Um, yeah, I think if you definitely get a starter pistol or something like this, it would be actually ideal. And of course, it is um, full blowback as well. So it's gas blowback. So when you fire it, it fires back like a real gun loading in the next BB. Obviously, a real gun would be a, a pistol. Uh, be a, a bullet but in this case it's a, um, it's just a BB so there you go but it's as realistic as you're going to get really um, and I think it's really really cool I really like the pistols um, more so over some of the rifles you can get out there because it's the most realistic you can get the bit of recoil is a tiny tiny bit and nowhere near as, as, uh, as comparable as the likes of a real gun but it's something and it, it, um, it makes a difference on the field it just has a bit more realism to it without getting shot and dying really I'm not really up for that personally. And finally I just have a speed loader here which just goes in to the sniper mag. You just pop that up, that flicks up, and then you just press and it loads BBs in there. Much quicker than individually put them in of course. And uh, yeah, really good uh, little bit of kit. So always highly suggest you have one of these at hand when you're on the field or something. Only thing is is that these, these little nozzles are super glued on right here. Just that there. And they're a pain in the arse to get a hold of. So just be careful of that. Right, so this is my dad's loadout. Now, as you can see, it's a nice aluminium case with sort of a um, woodland effect on it, a bit better than mine. I actually originally intended on getting this one, but uh, at the time it was unavailable and there was a lot of argy argy with it, but ended up this being my dad's and the one being mine. Um, so this one is a lot different to mine in terms of what the actual gun is. So this is an AR-15 based rifle made by G&G. Um, it is an EEG which stands for automatic electric gun. It essentially uses a battery to operate the gun and for it to be used essentially. Uh, so mine's obviously a springer, so you have to cock it back fire, cock it back fire. The pistol's uh, used by gas, so it just uses gas propellant in order to load the new BB in without you having to cock it all the time. This one uses a battery which has a gearbox inside which feeds the BB. Now without getting too much into a gearbox, because honestly it baffles my mind as much as it'll probably try and baffle yours a little. It, it is a really cool system um, and it just makes a sort of a a loud high pitched noise every time it's feeding BBs through. Watch any video you'll just see. Right, so this is my dad's AR-15. Um, very, very well made and robust gun actually. This is made uh, completely from an alloy body. Um, it's very nice. Um, quick mention, there'll also be links in the description if you want to look at any of these uh, these guns. They are UK sites, but you'll probably be able to find them elsewhere. We've got a fully adjustable stock here. Um, I'm a bit skeptical with uh, actually adjusting anything on this because it's to my dad's liking, so I'll not really move anything. But you've got these flip up sights as well which on either side, like so. so you flip these up, very, very cool. I do like them a lot, and they're fully adjustable as well with the wind and elevation. The mag goes in here, obviously, with the mag release on the uh, both sides, just there. Full, fire selector, you have safe, obviously, semi, and full auto. And also, if you fire one bullet, or one BB, on semi-auto, and hold it for 10 seconds, it'll program the three round bursts on full auto. So you've got like the best of all the worlds in terms of fire rate on this thing. Uh, battery goes in the back, just there, this flips open. Obviously it has a scope on this as well usually, but there's not one on at the minute. Yeah, also something I like is a fake gas chamber in there as well. It was very, very cool. Bit of detail just to a real one really. Uh, it's a lot more lightweight to my snipe rifle. A lot more lightweight, so I really like that. And also if you cock this back, it does open the door to access the hot chamber. Um, a real gun, real M4 of any kind or ER like this has this dust cover and obviously your, your bullets would eject out of this 
with this you can just keep it closed it's not ejecting any cartridges out so that's cool next up we have his pistol his 1911 which is a Dan Wesson Valor um, very similar shape to mine in fact almost identical really in terms of shape um, drips up here instead of just down here uh, you've put wooden grips on as well we did have this snakeskin polymer grips these are real wood and they actually weather with like sweaty hands and stuff sounds kind of disgusting but it looks really cool um, Novak sights instead of the quite ones that I have I'll do a quick comparison in a second uh, this again same operation with CO2 cartridge 6 the exact same mag as mine um, chrome barrel here as well unlike mine as well very very nice um, and this is actually a slightly different hammer as well it's more of a tactical hammer which is on high cap uh, 1911s. Same safety mechanism has to be down in order to raise the safety and then that just goes back down. Beaver tail rail as well and then that just comes up. Yeah very very cool gun. This one is also KWC but it's branded ASG but it's made by KWC same with mine. Um, strips the same way. It, it's just a very much a similar gun but this is actually bead blasted so it's not painted. It sort of wears in a different way. Yeah I personally really really like it so yeah, very very cool gun. Also just a side note as well is all of this has been cut out for this gun which is something I intend to do with mine. Um, he's done honestly a great job with this um, and obviously he's got his long range scope here, short range one here. These here are protect your sight and then that just sticks in there like so. Um, and of course you four mags he's got here, he's got them sort of stacked above. These are high cap mags. Um, essentially what that means is, is you open this door here, load in your BBs, and then you wind the bottom when you start running out. This will hold about 450 rounds, which is quite a lot of rounds um, to hold, because obviously you fire, say, 30, 40, maybe up to 50, and then you have to wind it again, and you just keep winding it until it works. But yeah, that's it. That's both of the loadouts covered. Um, I hope it hasn't been too much of a boring video and a bit more insight into uh, what kind of weapons we use um, and in terms of how it works, so to speak, and, and what we're firing. And Yeah, it's a very brief rundown. I hope to go into more in depth in the future. Um, it's a type of video I've never done before. Um, and of course, the car stuff is still going to be coming as well. So if you do like what you see here, then subscribe if you don't mind and there will be more airsoft videos coming um in the future a few weeks time really um i've got an item on the way that i want to cover as well sort of an unboxing which i've never seen done on uh on youtube really so that'll be interesting but other than that that's pretty much it so i hope you enjoyed the video um if you do again drop a like on the video subscribe if you don't mind um, and share it about as well get the word out um but yeah there you go so thank you very much for watching guys and i'll, uh, I'll catch you in the next one